Hi, I'm Tim from the Military Arms Channel. We're at SHOT Show 2014 and we're at the IWI booth taking a look at some of their rifles. Here in my hands I have a Tavor, which is a 5.56 caliber rifle. And um, Tim, <laughs> what are you doing in my video? Dude, this is my video. It's my cameraman. I can't work like this. What do you mean you can't work like this? What do you got in your hands, man? I got a 9mm Tavor. Check this out. It takes Uzi magazines. Cool thing about the Tavor is that it's very modular. So, you know, there's a lot of drop-in components that can be utilized without a whole lot of effort. It's got a Magwell adapter, It'll take Uzi magazines, convert to 9mm, uh, Master of Arms, pretty much the same, right? Yeah, pretty much the same. Well, it's exactly the same as the, uh, the standard Tavor. Um, and I will say, these are Uzi magazines, but they have a slightly different cutout for the magazine release. Okay. So, or the magazine slightly lock. Slightly modified. Slightly modified, but it's the same thing as a Colt SMG mag or sure, Uzi sure. mag. But yeah, so the magazine release is just like that, just like normal. Uh, the bolt release is where you would expect it to be on the Tavor. It's it's neat. One thing I really like about it is the fact that I can now run 9mm, which is dirt cheap, and I can suppress it and get really, really quiet results. Yeah, and I'm also excited about the 5.45 kits for these. Because, yes. you know, you, if you look in the right place, you can still find 5.45 by 39 relatively inexpensive. Yeah. Um, it's out there. You just got to buy it cheap, stack it deep, you know, one of those right. kind of things. 9mm, however, you know, is available and reasonably priced. And I noticed the recoil impulse on the gun. Very, very, you know, comfortable gun to shoot when we had it out at the range day the other day. Um, did a great job. Yeah, I, I, I like the gun a lot. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting home and shooting mine. I have one waiting for me, so. I know, I'm jealous. Uh, you lucky bastard. It's but... killing me being here. It's like, I don't want to be a shot show anymore. <laughs> I know. But yeah, looking forward to it. These things are going to retail for 900 bucks. So, it, and it'll drop right into your existing rifle. So if you have uh, the rifle, you can buy the conversion kit and uh, drop it in yourself in about 10 minutes. Sure, that sounds good. We, I can't wait to get my hands on one, you know, be a little bit minute before I get a hold of one. We, we had uh, two or three Tavors come through the shop uh, probably about a month ago, and uh, they were all spoken for uh, pretty quick, oh, yeah. uh, even before me, so that's saying a lot. Because you know me, when I see a new gun come through, I'm just gonna yeah, yank, Fine. snatch it up, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Well, cool, uh, I appreciate you uh, photobombing my video, but this worked out pretty good. Oh, come on, this was my video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, guys, look, we appreciate you watching today. Uh, Tim, thanks for being in my little video. Absolutely. Thanks and, for being uh, in my video. Yeah, man. I can't wait to get myself one of these little jackhammers. Nice little rifle, you know? Um, I, I just can't say enough good things about them. It just feels like it's, it's just an extension of your body, you know? Like, when you hold it, it's just everything's molded to the human body. Yeah. You know, and that, they just really put the human factor into the design of this rifle. You know, that's, Agreed. I guess, a good way to put it. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we will check you out later.